And this gets into the most famous rumor about you with the whole penis thing. Did they tell you on Mad Men <laughs> the that you... The whole penis thing. Well, let's address it for, for, for once. Put it on the record. Did you bring did they, it, first of did, all? Did, yeah. <laughs> Robin wants to know if it's here. <laughs> or did you leave it at home? But, John, did, did, did they tell you on Mad Men you must wear underwear that your penis is so large that it is, in fact, <laughs> interfering with the performance and, and it's I showing up in I have worn underwear every single day of my life, Howard. That is So uh, that's a rumor. Uh, that, in other words, none of that is yes, true. Yes. I have. I, first of all, who doesn't wear underwear? I, yeah, I've, I wear underwear. Especially with a underwear suit. every day of my life. <laughs> with a suit? I mean, no, come on. I love a comfy boxer brief. Thank you very you much. Do. Good for you. Yes. I mean, uh, I'm proud of you. I like a breathable, I like a breathable cotton. You know, <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Who doesn't? John, what about love? What about Robin? Oh, uh, stop it. When's that, gonna, <laughs> when's that all going to go down? I mean, she's ready. I mean, could you ever commit to one woman? Yes. Be married. You could be married. You've never been married, right? Yes. I've never been married. You could but I for sure. This is all part of what I'm saying. Like, this is another place in my life that I feel very settled and comfortable in. I'm in a relationship right, right now, and it's 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 sorry, good, Robin. Uh, yeah, thank you. You could have her. I, 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 <laughs> uh, and and it's and it's and it's comfortable. It's a feeling of taking care of someone else and being taken care of, and it's also been a process of. of working on myself, my mental health, all the stuff, with my therapist and, and unpacking all of that trauma and realizing that, you know, when you lose somebody like that's so important to you, like a mother, like, mm. uh, so early that that creates a, a wound Absolutely. That, that blocks a lot of that emotional accessibility that blocks a lot of that, uh, availability and, and vulnerability. And it's only been in the last couple of years of me kind of sitting down and really thinking about all that stuff that's that's made the relationship that i'm in now is even more meaningful and 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 opened up the possibility of things like being married having kids hope you know defining a new version of happiness life wellness all that stuff that's it sounds hokey and whatever but it's real and it and it's it's for want of a better word it's it's what it's what I'm working for, right? It's what I right. What what else is there other than that? You know. Would you like to announce now that you are getting married <laughs> to your longtime girlfriend? Uh, that would be I a will great. Not, I will not announce. I will not announce that now. But so, I feel you're close. I, I feel I, you're I, in love. I'm. I'm. I, I'm. In, I very much so am. Yes. You are declaring your love, right yes. here. Yes. yes. On live on the air. Wow. Isn't that sweet. This is this is new. This is this is special. This is big, and uh, I see wedding me. bells, and I I will I know what you're thinking. You want me to come to the hear, wedding? I'll you be. hear wedding bells more than see them, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> 